So last night I was streaming running expeditions over and over testing the latest patch to make sure we hadn't missed any issues. As you be honest besides one instance which you'll see on screen now where I got kicked just to we completed the expedition check this out. Oh I do can. Messed him up. Are you f kidding me, game? Are you f kidding me, game? It just kicked me. It just it it it. But besides this one instance, people, if I'm honest, connections did feel way more stable. We've cross play enabled the lot. But playing on stream yesterday, I noticed something in the way in which we were playing. It was resulting in way more legendaries than I'm used to. So I tested this a little further more and today I have some surprising results. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. So last week, as you may have saw, I ran 100 expeditions. All at a world tier 15, all resulting in that gold just to see what the loot results would be. Most were done in a party, but some solo. I got a total of 48 legendaries from 100 gold tier 15s. So last night via my stream, I was running tier 14s, just really helping people unlock tier 15s. And well, I noticed something very strange indeed. Every single run, I mean every single run people, I was getting at least one legendaries. For the most part, I was getting two all from tier 14s and this was constant, the whole team was getting them. But I needed to test this further. So after the stream and earlier today I had a few of my pals and myself do the same thing, run more tier 14s, some were done solo, others in a free man. Including my runs on stream and off stream I totaled 45, with my pals doing runs we had a total of 121 runs before we gave up and a conclusion was made. From 121 runs people, how many legendaries do you think we got from tier 14s? You probably won't believe this, but it's true. We got 134 legendaries drop from 121 runs in tier 14s. So how can that be? I mean, I got my powers to run them because I just wanted to make sure it wasn't just a me thing, but it wasn't. I mean, we ran a couple of tier 15s too, and to be honest, although the results seem much better than I'd experienced before, they were definitely not as consistent as tier 14s. But it's not just the fact that it seems tier 15s have a higher legendary drop chance too, although I don't think that's right at all. I think there's definitely something up with tier 15s. Tier 14s are much easier to run, much faster to run, and it seems they're more rewarding to run. So I want you guys to test this out for me. I mean, I've had a look online, some people were torn between 14s and 15s. I did see a couple of recent posts about tier 13s, but to me, 14s definitely seem the best to run and give you way more legendaries. I mean, did something happen within the patch from yesterday? I honestly am not sure. But whatever's gone down, in my opinion, 14s are the best to run. And with the weird damage bug it seems we've all got, where we seem to take way more damage or our resistance has dropped, tier 14s are the way forward for now. So please guys, try them out and let me know your findings. I mean yes for sure you will get only 49 rewards but that doesn't matter whatsoever. Just level them up with all the resource parts you will get anyway. But yeah try this out and let me know what you think guys but for me, I mean 134 legendaries dropped in 121 runs, absolutely ridiculous. But you were already a farmer of tier 14s, let me know if you are. And is this the reason why? But on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. And hopefully I will see you on that next one.